This court is now in session. Is my understanding that there is to be a change of pleas in the case of the Commonwealth versus Todd Manning, Zachary Rosen, and Powell Lord III? The defendants ready to enter new pleas at this time? We are, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. We are, Your Honor. This is it. The charges are rape and aggravated assault. How do you plead? Mr. Lord? Guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Rosen? Guilty. Mr. Manning? Mr. Manning? Excuse me? I didn't hear that. Guilty. I respectfully ask the court that they treat my client, Todd Manning, with leniency. This young man, a star college athlete, has been seriously injured recently. He's deaf in one ear, and his external scars are self-evident. But I ask that the court also consider those scars which are less obvious. The mental pain and the suffering that he has already endured knowing that he will lose some of the best years of his life. Todd Manning is personally responsible for all injuries, mental and physical, that he now suffers. And to show leniency would be to send the wrong message. He not only raped Marty Saybrook, he incited others to rape, and therefore he must suffer the consequences. We're in this room to see that justice is done. The guilty must be punished. And Todd Manning is guilty. Your Honor, if it please the court, I'd like to speak for a few moments about Powell Lord. Proceed. Powell Lord is also among the guilty. He, too, raped Marty Saybrook and lied about it. Often, in fact, and has now openly come forward and admitted it. But there's a difference between Powell Lord and the other two. Powell is profoundly sorry for what he has done, and he has shown great remorse. As a woman, as a human being, I believe that rape is a heinous crime, and that a long prison term is an appropriate punishment. But I question whether Powell Lord, whose remorse is evident, should be punished in the same manner as the, as the other two. He's not, he's not a danger to society. He's a young man who made a very, very, very grave mistake, which he clearly recognizes. He wants to pay his debt. He should pay his debt, but it should be a fair debt. I believe that Powell Lord is at heart a very good and very decent young man who deserves more than just our condemnation. He deserves a second chance at life. Thank you, Ms. Gannon. Is there anyone else who wishes to address the court at this time? I do, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would like to say something about Powell Lord. Please, proceed. After I was raped, I uh, hated Todd, Zach, and Powell. It's hard to explain how you feel after you've been raped. You're so hurt and violated, afraid, and, and then the rage. Well, sometimes it's almost overwhelming. I guess it's obvious that the, the, the uh, the healing process for me has been quite slow, but it's also been filled with a lot of surprises. My friends stood by me and 
I'm eternally grateful to them. I also received support from those that I never expected. I guess you could say that my um, faith in people was renewed. I believe that anyone can change. Anyone. And in these last few days, I've come to realize that Pal is not the monster that I, I thought he was. I've seen how he too has suffered as a result of all this. I sat and argued and argued with him in, in, in a room, the room where I was raped. The same room where he was thinking about killing himself. So it's clear to me that he's sorry for what he did. He's sorry that he allowed himself to be pressured into doing something that he knew was wrong. In a way, he was a victim that night too. A victim of his so-called friends, Todd and Zach. And I think he knows now that they're not his friends. I have done a lot of things in my past that I am not proud of either. So I know what it's like to wish that none of it had ever happened. All you want is for someone to forgive you. So, Paula, I forgive you. Whatever punishment the court decides on is, is up to the judge. But I want you all to know that for me, Powell Lord has paid his price, but not Todd and Zach. As far as I'm concerned, a lifetime in prison is not enough for what they have done to me. So, Your Honor, as to the sentence for Paul Lord III, the Commonwealth makes no recommendations. However, as has been said previously, Mr. Manning and Mr. Rosen have shown no remorse over the cruel and violent rape they committed. In all of my years as a prosecutor, rarely have I seen defendants so cold-hearted. It is the Commonwealth's recommendation that they be punished with the utmost severity. And as you know, this is a felony of the first degree. The Commonwealth requests the maximum sentence of 20 years in a state prison. Thank you, Your Honor. I have nothing further. Thank you, Mr. Gannon. This court will stand in recess for one half hour. Upon reconvening, I will sentence the defendants. All rise. Come on, let's get out of here. I can't stand being in the same room that they're in. Well, you really pulled off quite a coup there, pal, didn't you? Because a guy pulls a, a gun to his own head, all of a sudden everybody feels sorry for him. Oh, shut up, Todd. I am embarrassed for you having a bunch of girls get up and cry for you. Meanwhile, you turn around and stick it to me and Zach. I didn't tell them to say anything. Just I didn't get even know. yourself a reduced sentence. Never mind about your friends. Is that the idea? You're not my friends. Not anymore. I know that. You're scum, pal. You hear me? You hear me, rat boy. You think I care what you think about anything? Back off, Todd. Now. Stop surprising me. You were incredible in there. Yes, you certainly was. I could only imagine how difficult that must have been for you. I guess you inspired me. No. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Thank you for reminding me about second chances. You're very welcome.
Mom, I have to tell you something. What is it, honey? I am really proud of you. Me? <laughs> yes, you've been absolutely amazing lately. I'm sorry, are you sure you're my daughter? No, seriously. Look at everything you've done. You defended Kevin. Mm. You helped get a mistrial. You got Powell to confess. Then you helped save his life. I mean, the list goes on and on. And you never missed a step. You never stumbled. Will you promise me something? Sure. The next time I do stumble, will you be there to catch me? Absolutely.